Here we have the annual cicada, which are these green cicadas, but we'll be focusing for this on our brood X cicada or a periodical cicada. I got one of these found dead, likely from parasites, but here we're going to examine the head and you can see the eyes and these like three dots here, kind of in the middle. We've got our eyes, large bulbous, and then you can see these tiny three amber colored dots and those are the ocelli and those three dots kind of pick up on light and extra movement to help them navigate around beyond what their eyes can do. So that's what that is. Insects or true bugs also have cute little antenna. Some are bigger than others, but here we can see these adorable little nubbins on the front of their head. Now we move to the thorax, which is our next body part. You can see that's right below the head. That is where the wings attach, as well as the legs, which are, you can see the nubbins of the legs, but those are flipped on the underside. You can see better. But here we've got the wings, and in a cicada, we have four wings, which are the big ones. And then underneath, you can kind of see that opaque area. It's a little translucent, but where it gets more opaque is the hind wing that's underneath of the forewing. Then we flip it over so you can see those legs where they connect. You can see they're all connecting at that second or middle body part, which is that thorax. And every single true bug has three pairs of legs for a total of six. Now we can see these kind of weird circular plates that are underneath the legs. And those plates are what makes the cicada so famous or infamous. Those are the timbal plates. And that is what produces that ear, ear, ear sort of noise that cicadas are really known for making. They have muscles on the inside of those plates that expand and contract and allow air to flow through, making that incredibly loud sound. Completely harmless, but it's just a male saying, hey, I'm trying to find a mate. Hello, excuse me. And then we can see that this was in fact a male by looking at its rump. And here we have on the abdomen, which is that third and final body part, a lack of an ovipositor. And you can see this kind of end nubbin here shows that it was a male instead of a female. A female would have had another kind of like, think a syringe or an injector coming out as well. And they are less spherical. There's more of an indent in a female's end, which you can see the male is nice and kind of curved here but it lacks that injector. And that ovipositor, ovi means eggs, posit, think deposit, is going to kind of inject eggs and a male doesn't need to do that. So that is our adult cicada, which you can see comes from this exoskeleton. This is a young cicada shell. It's in a glass tube, which is why the light is kind of funny but you can see that crack along the back and that is from where the adult emerges. So this summer, find yourself some cicadas and explore them and get to know these incredible creatures.